of excited children poured out of Annie and Clarabelle one morning and raced down to the beach. Near the Vicar's Sunday School, explained Thomas. I'm busy this evening, but the station master says I can ask you to take them home. Of course I will, Thomas Perkins. The children had a lovely day, but at tea time it got very hot. Dark clouds loomed overhead, then came lightning, thunder and rain. The children only just managed to reach shelter before the deluge began. Annie and Clarabelle stood at the platform. The children scrambled in. Can we go home please, Station Master? asked the vicar. The Station Master called Percy. Take the children home quickly, please, he ordered. The rain streamed down on Percy's boiler. Ugh! He shivered and thought of his nice dry shed. Then he remembered. A promise is a promise, he told himself. So, here goes. We couldn't go back if we wanted, he said. The farmer went to the guard's van carrying a hatchet. Hello, said the guard. You look fierce. I want some dry wood for Percy's fire, please. They broke up some boxes, but that did not satisfy the farmer. I'll have some of your floorboards, he said. Oh, my nice floor, grumbled the guard. I only swept it this morning. But he found a hatchet and helped. Soon they had plenty of wood stored in Percy's bunker. His fire burnt well now. He felt warm and comfortable again. Oh dear, thought Percy sadly. Harold's come to laugh at me. <laughs> Something thudded on Percy's boiler. <laughs> he exclaimed in a muffled voice. That's really too bad. He didn't throw things. His driver unwound a parachute from Percy's indignant front. Harold isn't throwing things at you, he laughed. 
He's dropping up drinks for us. They all had a drink of cocoa and felt better. Percy had steam up now. Beep, beep, thank you, Harold. He whistled. Come on, let's go. Three cheers for Percy, called the vicar, and the children nearly raised the roof. First, he thanked the men. Hell told me you are a wizard, Percy. He says he can beat you at some things, Percy snorted. But not at being a submarine, he chuckled. I don't know what you've both been playing at, and I won't ask. But I do know that you're a really useful engine. Oh, sir, whispered Percy happily.